See if Duke University really excited about this, about being the hub here in North Carolina, about getting to offer this life altering kind of treatment. There's certainly some risks associated with this, and we'll get to that in just a second. But first, we want to share the story, an amazing story of an ABC 11 family member, their son struggle with this disease and their message of hope tonight. Play with my siblings, you know, play games on my phone. Amari Thorpe sounds like any other 11 year old kid. Who's your favorite basketball player? Uh, LeBron. But he's still working up the strength to run down the court like his basketball idol. Amari has sickle cell disease. Some type of achy pain at one point in my stomach. There's some short pain in my back. That pain isn't as bad since he got a bone marrow transplant. Amari, a hundred percent match with his older brother Malachi. It was a, definitely a challenge to do, but luckily with some support from some family members, um, we were able to handle that really well. Now his dad Darren has to worry about his young daughter journey. She also has sickle cell disease, which affects about 100,000 people nationwide. A majority are in the black community. The new gene therapy approved today by the FDA won't be for his son, but maybe for his one year old. Darren works for us as a security guard. People are just learning about this stuff, but this is more information to provide it to us for our youngest daughter journey. The disease causes a small change to your hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. There are four treatments out there now, but this would use stem cells. If we can make it so that these patients go through this therapy, a one-time auto transplant, meaning we take their own stem cells, we change the genetics, we give it right back to the patient, the patient's not going to reject it. It's their own, it's their own stem cells, it's their own bone marrow. Dr. Nirmis Shah is a hematologist at Duke. He Zoomed with us from San Diego where the National Society was meeting and talking about the treatment. So it is exciting. The goal is can we continue to have great outcomes that we've seen so far. Darren is hoping for another miracle like Malachi being that match with Amari. 100% match? Yeah, my brother's like a superhero. If that doesn't work, the groundbreaking therapy could be next. This, I hope, brings families that have children with sickle cell in line with having an option having an option indeed. Some of the issues with this lie in the cost. One of the treatments is upwards of $3 million and a lot of the folks are looking for this treatment, Steve, are on Medicare or Medicaid. So certainly something Duke will be watching closely. Also, you do need to get chemotherapy before getting this kind of treatment, which does cause infertility. Again, Duke will be watching this closely. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Yeah, it is a life changing treatment, providing hope for so many people, including our friends, uh, the Thorpes. Josh, thank you. Yeah.